During this session, we are going to focus on the acknowledgments and references sections of Divisions 3 through 6 of the AgriScience Fair Project Report. Using the National AgriScience Fair Handbook rubric, it states that the acknowledgments should be either a detailed list or paragraph that acknowledges anyone who assisted with the project in any aspect. It, mu it must also include how they assisted in the project. As you can see in this example, we have included an acknowledgement section thanking all the authors of this paper for allowing us to use their paper as an example. We have also thanked the many individuals who are part of the FFA AgriScience Fair projects. Now to the references. Using the National AgriScience Fair Handbook rubric, it states that the references should contain significant, published, and relevant sources. The references will need to be in APA 6th edition style and follow these rules. All references should be cited within the document or they should not be included in the reference list. For example, the first reference is cited on page 7 in the literature review. When citing within a paper, the citation should be at the end of the sentence with the author's last name and the publication date. The period will go after the citation, not before. When creating a reference list in APA, there are a few general guidelines to follow. The references need to be in alphabetical order, double-spaced, and with a hanging indent. The authors should have their full last names and only initials for middle and first names when available. Publication years follow the authors and then the title of the reference. After the title, the source of the reference is included. This would be the title of the journal if a peer-reviewed journal article is being used. After this, the edition, volume, and page numbers are included. APA 6th edition does not include web retrieval dates or URLs for journal articles. The references used should not be from websites such as Wikipedia. The, web, the sources must be credible, published, and reliable sources. Peer-reviewed journal articles are optimal for references. However, when using reliable websites such as USDA.gov, the personal or corporate author will begin the citation. Following the author, the last updated date is included. Following this, the title of the specific document will be included in italics. And lastly, the retrieval URL will be included. We will discuss additional information regarding proper APA technique in a different module.